guys. Uh, my name is Joseph Babcock, and this is honestly probably my 71st take. Um, I just did 70th a little earlier, and it was a mistake also. Um, and so I hope you guys are okay with a little bit of mistakes within this, but um, I, I, I'm making this video because I love CCF so much. Um, I, I've been impacted so much in my life from CCF, in my faith, and I've grown so much here in college through it all. Um, and that's the biggest reason why I wanna run for president is because I want to be able to give back to the community that has poured so much into my life. Um, I would draw from my experiences that I had, uh, where two years ago I was vice president of outreach um, and I got to see how Morgan Fender um, was president and kind of learned from her. But then also this past year, I was, uh, I am manager. And so I got to kind of see how Lake um, uh, was discipling people and um, just being a leader in the community. And so um, it, I just hope you know that I, if I was voted in as president, I, I would do my hardest and I'd try my best um, to be able to build the community into a community that helped me so much. Um, it already is great, and so I don't want to take away from that, but I'd also just want to um, help it continue to be great. And so um, I hope you guys are having a, a great day, and uh, see, you, uh, see you soon, hopefully, besides quarantine and whatnot. Um. Hi, I'm Nick Wetzel, and I'm running for CCF president. I'm a man of the people. I'm a native Missourian. I was born right here in this great state. Now let me tell you why I'm the best candidate for CCF president. Oh, I didn't see you there. In the words of Michael Scott, is it better to be feared or loved? Easy, both. I want people to be afraid of how much they love me. And that's the kind of attitude I want people to have about God. I want them to be afraid of how much they love him. Being raised in a Christian home, I learned the importance of growing in my faith. I'm an active member of church and small group in Rama. My faith has allowed me to become a part of so many people's lives. As visitor coordinator, I was able to connect with new members of CCF using my God-given gift of hospitality. I believe I would be an effective leader in the Christian Campus Fellowship. Through good communication and discipling others, we can make campus a better place. While I may be a hard worker, I also like having fun, which is why I intend to have as much fun as possible on CCF events and retreats. And while I like understanding what makes my car so great, I already know that what makes CCF great is you being a part of it. I hope I've shared with you why I'm the best candidate for CCF president, and remember to stay safe during these uncertain times. I'm Nick Wetzel, and I approve this message. Derek Parker, so what makes you a value asset for this position? What makes me a valuable asset for the fellowship officer is that I used to be the brotherhood officer for, this, for, the, for the men's house. And through that, I've noticed that just being able to connect with the guys in the house and learning about who they are individually uh, makes me a valuable asset for this fellowship position because I am a person that is very open and willing to create new friendships with people and just be open to their way of life and inviting them into my way of life. And I feel like this would help because Jesus was a type of person that went out and he didn't only stay in, he got uncomfortable and went out to the people instead of just staying in. He worked, he worked as hard as he could to be that type of person and that's what I'm going to do I'm going to be the type of person that's not going to be comfortable I'm going to be uncomfortable I will go out and I will reach out to the people that are lost and I'm and it really is passionate to me because I feel like I'm the person that God can use to get those people that are lost so you see yourself as a go-getter that's capable of bringing the bodies in yes okay that's good 
So, in closing, what do you want us to remember about your candidacy? What I want you to remember is that I'm a man of God first. That if I don't get the position, I will still continue to pursue those people that are lost. And I will still continue to love my brothers in the house. I will continue to thank you guys for just giving me this opportunity. It's very passionate to me because I just want you to understand this about me. That I am a dependable person. If you putting me in this position, I will work my hardest. I will try to plan events that are fun and engaging and bring people that are on this campus more into our house and to our events. Cool. Hello everyone! My name is Bethany Paramathis and I am studying engineering management. Um, I am running for a VPA fellowship because I just have a passion for caring for people and connecting them with Christ. Um, so I want to use my gifts of organization and creativity in order to further build unity within CCF, um, but also get newcomers to feel welcomed and connected with us. Uh, in the past, I have volunteered at a lot of different summer camps um, where I took on a lot of leadership roles, such as recreational leader, counselor, Bible study leader, and such. Um, in these roles, I gained skills um, just uh, coordinating with team members and thinking outside the box in order to um, come up with fun activities for the kids to enjoy. Um, I also developed my abilities in communication and decision making, um, um, but more importantly I realized how key it is to allow Christ to use our strengths and our weaknesses in order to glorify Him. Um, another key takeaway I got from these leadership roles um, is how I can be a witness in social activities. And that is an area of fellowship that I want to strengthen in CCF. Um, I'm sure before the coronavirus that a lot of us would attend social gatherings in order to build our friendships and build our community. Um, which as a VP of fellowship, obviously I want to continue that. Um, but I also want to be able to encourage and challenge you guys to use social events as an opportunity to be a witness um, like we're called to be. Uh, so thank you so much for watching this video. Um, if any of the ideas I mentioned are something that you envision in a future CCF leader, um, I would ask that you would just vote for me <laughs> and have a great day. Hi. So my vision for VP of Spiritual Growth in thinking about it is all about the emphasis and encouragement of the pursuit of Christ through the uh, three main ways to get to know Christ better, that being prayer, scripture, and fellowship. Um, I will want to encourage and uh, catalyze uh, the meetings to uh, focus on prayer, um, on scripture learning, and of course, fellowship in the name of Jesus. Um, Truly, I also want to, for myself, in a vision for myself, if I were to be in this position, is to always remember that all glory and credit is God's, especially in the realm of spiritual growth, because the Holy Spirit is the only way that any of that happens. Um, my experience that would help me in this, uh, I have been helping lead and leading a Bible study in my fraternity for the past two semesters. Um, my gifts that I have found um, that lend themselves to spiritual growth is that while well, I've been spiritually growing a lot and have found that I have very good insight and discernment in um, interactions, one-on-ones, um, and encouraging people. Um, I can be fun uh, and I can also be very serious and thoughtful because of my own um, experiences in grief that have taught me a lot um, in relating to people and joy as well. Uh, so overall in spiritual growth, it's in God's hands. So <laughs> I was joking, if, if the Lord wants me to be in this position, then you will vote for me. Um, so I guess that is it.
Hey guys, it's John, and I'm applying for the VP of Service position. This is something that Braden Roberts, the old VP of Service, has pushed me uh, to think about and consider, and uh, that's why I'm doing it today mainly. Uh, Braden and I, we have, we've been doing the discipleship program. Braden has discipled me the past couple of semesters, and I've really gotten to know him and see what he's done with this position, and I've wanted to be a part of it. Um, I have a couple of objectives and goals that I'd have for this position. Uh, them being uh, something that's in the description of the position is to go out and find new service projects. But also, I want to be able to increase the uh, participation at these service projects. Now, a couple ways of doing that. I understand that all of you probably read Braden's emails and kept them close to your heart like I did not because I am awful at keeping track of all my emails. So something I want to do to circumnavigate uh, that is kind of shove the events in all of your faces. Sort of like how we do with the intramurals, I want to have a service events board out in the lobby that has a schedule for the month or for the week about what service events will be going on at that time. That way whenever you walk in, you see it, oh, I should go do Grace Food Distribution this week. And also, I will not be afraid to barge into your room to get you to come to Grace Food Distribution. <laughs> uh, another thing I'd like to do, obviously talking to Nicholas and the other house officers, uh, I'd like to make service hours uh, part of the house tournament uh, for CCF residents. This is incentive, obviously, for CCF residents. We're not the only ones going to these events, but I feel like it would encourage us to go more, maybe get rooms to do it as a group, uh, and... Uh, yeah, we'd see how the point system would work there. Uh, so yeah, those are a couple of the ideas. Those are my objectives for the, for the position. Uh, yeah, thank you. Hi, I'm Nathan, and I'm running for the Vice President of Service. If I'm elected to this position, I'll make sure that the people of CCF can make a difference in the Rolla community. I want to provide lots of opportunities for us to serve the people around us, not only am I looking forward to continuing our previous service events, like singing hymns at the Presbyterian Manor and helping out at Grace Food Distribution, but I'm also excited to find new people and new organizations to serve. With every event that we can put on, not only do we help to make someone's life better, but we spread the love of Christ to those who need it most. I had the opportunity to participate in several of the events organized by Braden this year, and if you've never been to one of these, believe me, just the fact that we're, a, that we're willing to spend time serving others, it brightens other people's world. So I'd really love to see us do even more to serve these people next year. Now, I do have a little experience organizing service events already and leading small volunteer groups. Um, in high school, I organized a 50-man-hour service project to categorize and relocate hundreds of files for the local courthouse. I also led a group of volunteers each week um, in live streaming my church's Sunday services. And I learned a lot from both of these experiences and I hope to apply that knowledge to the work that I would do as the VP of service. I also look forward to working and learning from all of the officers and CCF staff uh, that I would be working alongside for these events. At the end of the day though, it's all about glorifying God by serving others. And I would love to be the one that makes doing that a little easier for everyone else. Thank you. Hey CCF, I'm Jake. I was your outreach officer this year and I hope to be the outreach officer again next year. <clears throat> I'll be a senior in engineering management. Um, I'm pretty active on campus with the student union board, with the concerts committee, um, and also as the athletic department photographer. Uh, so I go to a lot of our home sporting events and everything. Um, I'm really excited about getting CCF involved with other organizations on campus as well as Greek Life and getting those organizations in Greek Life involved with us as well. Um, and I would love your support uh, going into the next year so that I can be your outreach officer again. Thanks. Hey, so my name is Josh and I just wanted to share a little bit about why I wanted to run for outreach officer. So God's really given me a desire to do outreach and mission work in general. And growing up, I did not really do a lot of outreach, but over the past year and a half or so, um, I had a mentor that really poured into my life and showed me the importance of sharing the gospel with others and building relationships and not focusing on ourselves, but 
um, pouring into others and showing uh, God's love to them. Um, he's God's given me uh, talents and organization and planning, and I feel like I could really use that as an outreach officer in planning events that other believers could get involved in and do outreach themselves. So those are just a few of the reasons why I want to run for outreach officer. Um, I love to be social and be involved on campus. Uh, we have an amazing opportunity at this time in life to build relationships so easily and be uh, have the opportunities to share the gospel. Ultimately, all I want to do is be obedient to God and bring glory to Him. And that's why I wanted to run for outreach officer. Hey, where are you going? Oh, just off to vote, actually. Oh. Vote for what? Oh. Well, it's CCF officer elections. Oh. What's that? Oh. Well, it's a Christ-based organization on campus that I've been a member of for a few years. Oh. So who are you voting for? Oh. Well, I'm going to vote for Philip Norris for Secretary Treasurer. Oh. Why is that? couple of years and he's hoping that in his last year here at S&T he can have more of a leadership position with the organization and help keep the organization going in the right track that it's currently going. Oh, that's me. Hey guys, my name is Kaylin. I'm a sophomore in business and I am running for historian. I'm running because I have a strong passion for this ministry. This year I am one of the SUCO reps for CCF and I have loved every minute of being on the officer team. God has given me strong passions for creating and planning events and also for photography. Alongside with the ministers and the other officers, I would love to plan a grad banquet that would help the graduates remember their time at S&T and their time in CCF, both semesters. And I would also love to create a yearbook to help us remember all the memories that we've had throughout the year. I am also only taking 12 credit hours next semester and the semester after that, so I would have a lot of time to devote to being historian and creating and planning for the events and for the yearbook. Um, I have watched Megan do her job this past year and I really have a good idea of what the role looks like and I really think my skills and my interests um, align with those of historian. I have a strong interest in photography and art so I would be I think I would be really good at creating a yearbook and um, getting all those pictures together. Um, I really feel that my passions align with Historian and I really feel like I could do a good job. So I pray that you guys choose whoever God leads you to choose and I pray that you guys are having a good semester and that your semester is going well and I miss you all. Hi, I'm Samantha Taylor and I'm running for the role of Historian. Um, so with this role, I not only want to maintain the normal responsibilities of Historian, but to really emphasize on the bigger picture behind the roles, um, like taking pictures at events and um, working with the ministry staff to organize the grad banquet and being present at O Week, for example. Um, they all ultimately come down to serving others and show support for the community of CCF and S&T um, with pictures and experiences like this. And I hope that the Lord can work through me 
um, and providing encouragement and confidence and a community that you can come back to and lean on and to know that you're a part of something greater for the congregation. Um, I hope to also set an example of um, what a child of God looks like and who our God is. Um, I would also like to incorporate my spirit of outreach and unifying to really show what we are about and to bring people in and welcome to them to our events. Um, I don't have experience with this role specifically, but being a part of the worship team and co-leading a small group last semester, even though it was cut short, um, I've seen the inner workings of CCF and I know what it takes and I know that our God is constant through it all and that I can lean on him through whatever um, this role throws at me. Um, so ultimately, I hope that the Lord can work through me to help others and to um, show them that they have a community to lean on and fellowship with always. Hello. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Austin McNeil and I'm currently a freshman living in the Men's House. I am really excited for this opportunity because I've been participating in sports my whole life. This past semester and a half, I was given the opportunity to participate in various intramurals, and they really gave me the chance to meet new people and form friendships that may not have formed otherwise. And I've seen the impact teammates can have on one another. Now I get the chance to take that passion and serve those around me. I know a lot of times it is difficult for, for us to share the gospel with others. I believe that intramurals gives us all the opportunity to do so in a very comfortable environment, whether it is with our teammates or our opponents. We can be a light of Christ with our words, our actions, and how we treat others when the game isn't necessarily going our way. Sometimes being a light of Christ is as simple as just praying with the other team after the game. Even though we can easily get caught up with the outcome of the game, at the end of the game, whether we win or lose, the way we express Christ to our teammates, uh, the fans, and the other team is, is what really matters. I would encourage each of us to display the character of Christ on and off the field. I also hope all of us realize the importance of representing CCF in a respectful manner. I would even go as far as encouraging those of you who have been skeptical of intramurals to give them a shot because you never know what God has in store for you in your future. Thank you for considering me for this wonderful opportunity. Hey guys, my name is Caroline Schott. Don't feel bad if you don't know me. I'm really, really old. I'm currently a senior and I'm going to be a graduate student in the fall. I'm an applied mathematics major and I've played pretty much every intramural sport possible. So if you didn't know, I'm running for IM chair. For those of you that know me, you know I love sports, and you know I love participating in CCF events. The way I stay connected is through intramurals. I've made more friends and a better community through those people that I've met through intramurals who have introduced me through others that don't participate in intramurals. I don't feel as, tim as scared to go to Catalyst as I used to. Trust me, I was so scared my freshman and sophomore year. Just ask Mariah or Shandy or Rachel. And I think that we can do a lot of outreach with our intramurals. We can ask those who are scared to do it alone to invite their friends. And maybe if they aren't members of Catalyst, this is a way to see how they can come to Catalyst and feel just as welcomed as I did. Or if they're not members of CCF, come to a CCF event. We can also use our O-Week outreach and our St. Pat's outreach to get those who aren't involved involved, whether that's through intramurals or something else. I'm really passionate about intramurals and I hope you guys see that and hopefully I'll be the intramural chair and be able to create a point system for those that participate and watch, whether you participate or not. If you watch, it still counts. I think that's a good way to support men's, women's, and co-rec games. I hope you guys will vote for me for intramural chair and it was nice to see you via video, although I can't see you and you can only see me. Have a great semester guys. Good luck. Alright, so videos and I have never really gotten along, especially with the flip camera. That makes me look super weird. So I have taken the liberty of writing down what I wanted to say so I wouldn't forget anything. Alright, so I was nominated for the position of IM Manager, and I believe that I would be a great fit for this role because of my involvement in sports already. I'm on the s and track team, and I'm a sprinter. 100, 200, and maybe the 400. Hopefully not. Pray for me. <laughs> And the fact that I've played many of the sports that the CCF participants um, will be playing. So, I'm also very organized, so I feel that I will be able to effectively manage the money, order the jerseys and other equipments on time, and keep everything on track. From a spiritual standpoint, I feel like God is calling me to 
um, finally break into evangelism. I haven't been doing much of it to begin with because I feel like I have so much more to learn about who God is and what his plan is for my life. But the fact that I got nominated for this um, has definitely been like the kick in the pants that I think that I need. But the next thing I wanted to talk about was spiritual gifts. I feel that I have the spiritual gifts to be a helper and Shandy's online quizzes have definitely backed that up for me. Um, I feel like that will definitely apply to being IM manager because a lot of the stuff has to go through me and I want help <laughs> so um, if I don't if I am not equipped to help I want to find someone who can and I'm definitely not afraid to ask for help either so yeah thank you <laughs>